All right, I'm cruising around off the beach today. I was hoping to find some false albacore. Um, usually they're around what, long before now, but we had a storm that kind of changed the year. Um, and it's been a few hours now trawling, um, no surface life. So I'm gonna go uh, see what the bottom fishing is like a little further out today. So maybe it'll be a little more interesting. So, all right, let's see what we can find. Well, fishing uh, up top is dead. So let's try to catch some bottom fish at least. Right? Water's 71, so I don't know. I'm sure we'll see something. Whether it's something we want or not, it'd be an interesting question. Usually don't catch drum out here this early, but usually closer to the beach, but you never know. Good fish. Let's see what it is. It's coming home for dinner. It's a grunt. Grunt. Oh, white grunt. Fine eating fish. Kind of one of the more goofy fish you get near the beach. Tastes pretty good. I guess I reeled them up kind of quick too. But hey, white grunt on the kayak. All right, I got dinner. That grunt has never seen a fiddler crab in his life, but he's like, I like crab, so I'm gonna eat him. That's kind of how I feel. A fast drift is the only problem here. Whoa, we know, you know what this is? It's the two. Looking all the weird critters. Toad's got a rock to live in, there'll be a toad. I'll just land a second fish, 14 inch sea bass. Um, camera wasn't rolling on that one. Catching the little bottom fish, ain't nothing wrong with that. I hope. Is there something wrong with that? I don't know. I always enjoy a day of bottom fishing, so. One sea bass. All right, let's see what else we can catch here. Here. Wow, that's a big pig fish. I don't really catch them that big typically. Also related to grunts. Yeah, that's a big one. First spot got one grunt and one black sea bass. Uh, I usually wait till November to start this bottom fishing stuff more because uh, when the surface stuff's around, I don't do it as much. But yeah, it's been kind of slow, huh? Didn't see anything up top yet. I, it got pretty nice out, so it's already uh, 9.45. I think we're going to head in in a second here. All right, that'll work. Nice one. Good 
the old Cabela's glow spoon. Bloody fish. I guess I'm keeping him. It's a decent size one at least. That looked like something real big under him. Some good sized fish, at least. Fat Spanish mackerel there. Just jigging on the edge of the structure here. That's a good one, man. All right. fish. Just dropping this jig where I see fish marks and I'm usually getting a bite. This one, Spanish, it's a little one. Some bites here. Looks like I got a mixed class of fish for sure and a bent hook. All right, this is made by Cabela's. It's a good spoon. Just drop it down to the bottom and burn it back in. It's wild. A lot of different types of fish down there. Redfin herring. I should use him for live bait, honestly. I'm guessing that's what these mackerel are eating. But the mackerel bites are just so freaking fast paced on the. There's one. The ones up top do seem to be a lot smaller, but it's the effort that counts. Learned my lesson late, so today I kind of wanted to do surface-based fishing, right? Or expected it more than anything. And I got a couple bottom fish on crabs, whatever. And now I set up on structure, I'm like jigging fish off the bottom. Trolling kind of scatters them a little bit, you know. But they were kind of packed tightly on a, on a school of bait and everything got kind of pushed around a little bit. That's how it goes. Lost two jigs. 
Um, that's the jig I was using. These little glow spoons by Cabela's. I guess you could call them your basically a Walmart style jig, but uh, they got a good glow finish and yeah, they work well. I do like them. They aren't perfect, but they do work. No, a little heavier than I normally use for mackerel, but um, I did see one king mackerel probably like 15, 20 pounds fall up my jig, but he stopped at the kayak. I'm guessing these are albies. They are fast. Oh, let's try to make cast with two, see what happens. Oh, they're there. Are these Spanish? It might be. I think these are Spanish mackerel. Yeah, they are. Not the Albies we were looking for. It's not that bad. Oh, see you, pal. Oh, he took my jig. Oh, oh! Oh, man, they are too fast. Oh, that's a little one. I mean, I wouldn't say he's that little, but that to me is a little one. I've seen some bigger ones than this, that's for sure. I'm seeing, I think I'm seeing mixed sizes on these schools. Two days of ocean fishing. Um, didn't necessarily crush it further out, but definitely saw more fish to eat, right? Usually in the fall, the albies definitely help uh, <laughs> fill in the gaps, right? But I did catch some fish today. Um, one Spanish mackerel was pretty nice. Um, that was kind of cool. I like, I like it when you can catch them vertically. To me, it's a little kind of fun. All right, let's get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. So one quick frothing of Spanish mackerel. That's about it. They didn't look like particularly huge fish, but um, yeah. Let me get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys.